Every time you learn something, you learn because something you did didn't work. And that exposes you to the part of the world that you don't understand. Every time you're exposed to a part of the world that you don't understand, you have the possibility of rebuilding the structures that you use to interpret the world. That's often why it's more important to notice that you're wrong than it is to prove that you're right. One of the things that you're supposed to learn in university is precisely that. It might be useful to listen to people that annoy you on the off chance that they know something that, if they tell you, you can use instead of dying. Talking to people who agree with what you say is like walking around in a desert. You already know everything that they say. The reason you're associating with them in that situation is so that they never say anything that challenges you because you're afraid that if you go outside of what you understand, that you won't be able to tolerate the chaos. But it isn't the case. People have an unbelievable capacity to face and overcome things they don't understand. And not only that, that's essentially what gives life its meaning. The Buddhists say, life is suffering. And you think, well, if that's the case, why bother with it? And people do ask that question, and they ask it in ways that result in their own destruction, and worse, in the destruction of others. So, for example, people who become particularly cruel, particularly in a genocidal manner, are more than willing to dispense with as many human beings as they, they could possibly train their sights on, because they're so disgusted by the nature of human limitation that they'd rather eradicate it. And lots of people become suicidal because they can't bear the conditions of their own existence. And suffering is real, and it's inescapable. So the question is, what do you do about it? People don't get what they want is because they don't actually figure out what it is. And the probability that you're going to get what would be good for you, let's say, which would even be better than what you want, right? Just, you, know, you might be wrong about what you want, easily. But maybe you could get what would really be good for you. Well, why don't you? Well, because you don't try. You don't think, okay, here's what I would like if I could have it. And, and I don't mean, I don't mean in a way that you manipulate the world to force it to deliver you goods for status or something like that. That isn't what I mean. I mean something like, imagine that you were taking care of yourself like you were someone you actually cared for. And then you thought, okay, I, I'm caring for this person. I would like things to go as well for them as possible. What would their life have to be like in order for that to be the case? Well, people don't do that. They don't sit down and think, all right, you know, let's, let's figure it out. You're, you've got a life that's hard, obviously. It's like three years from now, you can have what you need. You've got to be careful about it. You can't have everything. You can have what would be good for you, but you have to figure out what it is, and then you have to aim at it. Well, my experience with people has been is if they figure out what it is that would be good for them, and then they aim at it, then they get it. And it's strange because they don't necessarily, it's a strange thing, it's not quite that simple because, you know, you may formulate an idea about what would be good for you and then you take 10 steps towards that and you find out that your formulation was a bit off and so you have to reformulate your goal. You know, you're, so you're kind of going like this as you move towards the goal. But a huge part of the reason that people fail is because they don't ever set up the criteria for success. And so, since success is a very narrow line and very unlikely, the probability that you're going to stumble on it randomly is zero. And so, there's a proposition here, and the proposition is, if you actually want something, you can have it.